When I was 18, I went into the military. I was 6'1", 140 pounds soaking wet. I was tall and lengthy. Basically your classic ectomorph. And after I got out of my basic training, after I got out of basically what they call tech school in the Air Force, it took about two years, I came home at about 175 pounds. I was a little bit of a late bloomer. It's through, um, it wasn't through working out yet. It was through the tech school, it was through all of that stuff. I got off the plane and my mom walked right past me. She wasn't expecting me to be that more filled out. She remembered her baby boy at 135, 140 pounds. So just imagine having 35 pounds of roughly muscle added to your frame in about two years. It doesn't sound like a lot, but again, I wasn't working out yet. I was just kind of filling out, call it late blooming, I don't know what it is. In this video though, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about the power of being jacked, the power of having muscle on your frame. Because I remember being that scrawny kid, and then I started to remember getting a little bit of size. And then I remember about 23, 24, I started working out with some of the guys on my team. Now I was a little bit big, but these guys were jacked. And I started working out with them and I would say probably in about a year and a half's time, I was 6'1", about 190 pounds. And I looked really good, I was young, I was lean. And I started getting looks, every time I went to the club, started getting looks from women. And I also started getting looks from dudes. And I always thought it was funny why dudes would look at another dude. And it's not really a gay thing, it was just, they're, they're recognizing that there's another guy who's superior to them. And I'm not talking about superior intellectually, I'm talking about they're just physically superior to them. This is why guys look at other dudes who are bigger. I'm 48 now, I'm still 6'1", probably a little bit smaller, I probably shrunk a little bit, but I'm about 230 pounds. I'm not trying to get any bigger, but the same dynamic happens most of the time, everywhere I go. A dude will look at me and be like, oh, you lift, do, 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 do. I'm like, yeah, no shit, dude. I've been doing this all my life. Oh, I wish I had the time to do it. I wish I, I wish I could look like that. I wish, I wish, I wish. It's about the doing. It's about actually practicing. It's about getting into the gym. There is no wishing here. No big guy has ever wished their way to putting muscle on. It's actually in the doing. I digress. I love going into a coffee shop. I love everywhere I go. I am breaking consciousness for most women. They're at least looking. They're, I watch them glance. They're like, oh, okay, this, all right, this dude's got a little bit of size on him. And I enjoy that because I have done the work. Most of the bigger guys out there, they also enjoy it. You might hear some people say, oh, I lift just for me. Bull fucking shit. I started lifting so I could start dating higher quality women. I started lifting so I could start getting some respect. That's why I started lifting. There's, there's no shame in me saying that. So if you guys are struggling in dating, the very first thing I suggest is getting to the gym, getting as much size on your body as you can. By doing just that, by filling out your shirts, by having some swagger, some confidence, having them shoulders back, that chest up, it just signals confidence everywhere you go. And women love a confident man. They love a confident and competent man. If a man is jacked, he's competent, at least in the sense that he knows how to take care of his body. And if he knows how to take care of his body, she feels safe around him. Now, I'm not saying every big guy can fight, but I'm saying every big guy, at least for most other men, there's this warning system other men have. They're like, okay, 
I don't know if I want to fuck with this guy. He might not be able to fight, but do I want to find out? Likewise, if you take a very small guy, chances of other people picking on him are higher or greater than picking on the big guy. Think about guys who get mugged. Think about these soy boys who get mugged and they wonder why. Well, they're, they look like women. They're very small, they're very emaciated, they don't carry themselves, they put their head down, they're always on their phone, they have no situational awareness, and they wonder why people pick on them. It's because they don't spew confidence. They don't have confidence in themselves. And so when other men see this, they think, well, there's an easy target. I'm going to go rob him. You very rarely see a very jacked guy getting robbed. Most people are like, eh, I better not. I don't want to have a bad day and I'm going to find an easier target. The other thing about being jacked when it comes to dating is I don't care what women say. It's what they respond to that matters. Most of the time when I walk into any store, People, women are at least responding. They're, they're jerking their head. They're looking really quick. Even if their soy boy boyfriend's there, they're trying to strain their eyeballs to a take a look. So if women respond favorably to a man who is filled out, who takes care of himself, yet they say, oh, I just want a guy who sings me songs and he does sonnets for me. I don't care that he's big. They're fucking lying. They're saying what society wants them to say, but what they respond to is a big dude. What they respond to, what they get wet with, is a dude who's jacked. And if you can do that, I'm not saying you have to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but what I need you to understand is if you can at least put some size in your body, 80% of the population in the U.S. is either overweight or obese. Now you go to 20%. If you can fall into that 20% range and 5% of those guys are jacked, if you can at least get into the top 10 where you're reasonably jacked, well, you obviously have more women looking at you because the pool of the 80% they don't want. So now you're at least in the correct pool where you have better options with women. And that's what we really want to do is you want to put yourself in the best options you can. And by doing that is getting to the gym. You don't even have to look that good. Do you know how many jack dudes that are ugly as fuck? Look at me. The dudes that are pretty ugly, as long as they have some size on them, as long as they have some muscle, women are like, eh, okay. Eh, I, I can live with this. They respond favorably because they're taking up space. Fundamentally, life at its core is a struggle for space. Land, resources, territory are always deeply ingrained in the male psyche. We want land, we want resources, we want territory. This is why we do wars. This is why empires fall and empires rise. It's a, an attack and it's the ability to acquire and maintain space. This is a fact. So the bigger you are, the more space you take up, the more space you acquire, the more respect is given to you in that situation. I know it sounds weird, like, Jared, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Well, think about it. For all human history, men acquire land, we require resources, and we want territory. We want space. All of that is space. And so if you're a bigger person, you're already taking up more space, which means you get respect from people who are taking up less space. That's really all I have on this one, guys. I've done plenty of videos on why it's important to get into the gym, why it's important to look your best. I wanted to do a little bit more on why it's important to actually try to get some size into your body for this reason. If you are struggling in dating, just getting into the gym is going to help your dating odds. It's going to help improve your ability to talk to women because you're already gonna have some confidence about you. You're already going to be in that era of, okay, he might not, 
I don't know a lot about this guy, but I do know what I like. And this is what I like as a bigger dude. Try this if you are struggling in dating. And if you are a bigger guy, I'd like to comment down below. Just let me know. Like, yeah, dude, I, I often get girls looking at me. I often get either thirsty guys wanting to ask me about my workout routine, or I get the beta guys who throw shade. I always get that too. Drop a comment, let me know if this video resonates with you. If you found this video helpful, please hit like, hit subscribe, help the channel grow and that bell icon so you know when new videos are being dropped. With that, I'm Jared with Magnetic Men's Club and we'll talk soon.